Today we wanna make one of this tea doll cat. I don't know tea mall cat. I don't know what's the name. But this this thing is enough for this. So let's go. First we will add a cube. See to make it editable. Go to front view. Pointer with zero. Select the bottom points. Make it a little shorter. Also in top view, make it a little thinner. Okay. Now duplicate the cube for the ears. Go to front view, bring it up, point it at zero, select the edges. Also make the top part a little smaller than upper part. Add a symmetry object, put the ear in it here. Then add a bevel deformer for the ear, make the offset bigger, duplicate it for the head. Now add a volume builder, put both objects inside it. Add a volume measure, put volume builder inside the volume measure, push the ears inside the body, and the to view the lines. Okay, add the volume measure inside the remesher on remesher select symmetry x. Seems good. Decrease the mesh density on the remesher to something like 50 or even 20. Also select symmetry z. It's much better now. Put the remesh generator inside the subdivision surface and see to view in quick shading. Okay, this is the head. Now we are going to build the eyes. Make it this. Make it positive. Z orientation, go to front view, make it a smaller, grab it, put it in a place you want, add two or three disc segments, decrease the rotational segments to something like six, add the shrink wrap deformer, put it under this, grab the head and put it on the target object for the shrink wrap deformer, add the white material to the eye to make it visible, now put the disc inside the cloth surface, on cloth surface makes subdivision zero thickness make it negative number until it pops out on the head something like this now put the whole thing inside and subdivision surface make a symmetry generator put the whole thing inside it tweak the position of the eye and also its size if you want it to be bigger name it eyeball Duplicate it, open it, select the disk, add a correctional deformer while holding down shift T for a scale, decrease the scale in X axis and also a little bit in Y. Now add the black material for the pupil, increase thickness a little bit for the pupil on cloth surface. Now eye looks okay. Let's go for other parts. Let's do the nose. Add a plane plus C. Go to front view. Decrease the scale roughly about nose size. Decrease the segments for the plane. Two is okay. Push it out from the head. Add a correction on the former two by holding down shift. Go to point small. Select top tree, T for scale, make it bigger. Select top tree at the bottom, T for scale, make it smaller. Something looks like nose. Control A, decrease it in scale, seems okay. Go back to model mode, add the white material to make it visible. Duplicate shrink wrap from eyeball after correction of the former for the plane. Now add the cloth surface generator, subdivision 0, thickness minus value until you can see the nose hopping out from the face. Add the whole thing inside another subdivision surface. Now nose is ok. Rename layer. Now let's go for the mouth. I mean this thing. Go to front view, a spline, spline pen and roughly draw one side of the mouth by click and drag. Drag, click and drag, click escape. Okay. Select the spline in point mode. Control A to select all points. Spline, add, subdivide, exit. Go back to model mode. E, go back to 3D view. Drag out the spline from the head. Now hide the nose. Go back to front view, select the spline, go to spline, move, project. Make sure the mode is on view, apply. Go back to 3D view. Now we can see the spline is exactly on the surface of the face. Go back to front view. Make this make a sweep object. Make an inside spline. Make the inside spline smaller. Smaller. Put the inside the spline and the spline that you draw under sweep. Go back to 3D view. Now on inside, rotate it until it's on this direction. X, Z, something. Looks like this. Assign white material to it to make it visible. Add a symmetry object. 
put everything inside it add the whole thing inside and connect object also make a volume builder put connect object inside it also make a volume measure put volume builder inside volume measure now you probably can't see anything because voxel size on volume builder is very big so first make volume measure disable decrease the size of the volume builder i think something around 0.2 centimeters is okay go to volume measure enable it now increase the voxel range threshold now you can see the mouth Add the whole thing inside the remesh generator. Decrease the mesh density to something like 50. Make sure to check symmetry X. What I really love about this setup, until the end of the world, we can go back to end side and increase its size. Or go to volume builder and increase the voxel size a little bit. Go back to remesher and decrease the mesh density to something like 25. For detect hard edges, go to shading. Now add the whole thing inside the subdivision surface. So as you can see, you can tweak the parameters until the end to make it the look you want. Okay, for now, I think it's okay. Just put the material on the highest level for the mouth. Make the nose visible again. Maybe add a little bit more thickness to nose in this cloth surface generator. Okay, rename the mouth. Go back to inside. Decrease the radius. Now it's much nicer. Now we go to build body, hands, and feet. Make a cube. C to make it edible. Make the cube smaller. Move it to the position you want. Click on the cube. Hold down shift while adding bevel deformer to it. Increase the offset a little bit and add the whole thing inside the subdivision surface. Now I think it's okay for the body. Maybe we can make it a little thicker. Rename it. Now just duplicate it for the hands and feet. Make a copy from it. Rename it to hand. Move it. Rotate it. Scale it. Maybe make it a little thinner on Z axis. We can also increase the bevel size to make it look more like a cylinder with softer edges. Now make a symmetry object, put the hand inside it. Now put the hand inside the null by selecting its subdivision surface and alt G. Rename it to hands. Duplicate it. Rename it to legs or foot or feet. Open the leg. Also rename it here. Put the whole thing inside another knob by selecting both of them. Hit alt G again. Open the leg. Select the subdivision surface of the leg. Move it. Rotate it. Move. I think it's here is okay. Now as you can see our cat is ready and what I like really about this setup is that you can tweak the values till the end. Maybe you want the fit to be more like a square. You can decrease the offset on bevel. Or maybe you want the pupil to be a little wide. You can select the correction deformer under pupil. Go to front view, T for scale, and make it wider or small. Or maybe you want to change the mouth shape a little bit. You can select a spline, go to a spline, magnet, change the size of the magnet with middle mouse click. You can hold the middle mouse click and change the size of the magnet and just play with the overall shape of the mouth. For more responsive edit you can first turn off these generators, tweak the shape and after that enable them all back. Add material to other parts and enjoy your team all doll. I don't know the name. The cat. Bye bye.